To get the GST through the Parliament, John Howard did a deal with the Democrats that it wouldn't apply to things like education, health or fresh food. But 15 years on, there are some weird distortions. Because it's not like everything that's in your fresh food drawer is GST free and everything else is taxed. Take two minute noodles for instance. They're hardly fresh and yet they're GST free. It gets weirder. Take these anti-pasto ingredients. Olives, dips, cheese, salami, crackers, they're all tax free. But put them on a platter, GST applies. Bread rolls are tax free unless they've got a sweet filling or coating, in which case tax. But hold up, if that sweet coating is a glaze, then it's tax free again. Drink a cup of juice with less than 90% fruit juice, that's taxable. 91% tax free. Nuts are tax free unless they're salted or roasted. Fresh herbs are tax free unless they're potted. Mineral water, tax free. Soda water, tax. Rice crackers are taxed, rice cakes are not. A frozen pizza base isn't taxed, but a frozen pizza is. But my favourite, by far, is this. An edible bird's nest is taxed, unless it comes with sugar. In which case, that tasty treat is tax free. Except if that sugar is rock sugar, then the GST applies. So roughly speaking, uh, exclusions from the GST are, are costing us over $20 billion a year. And bear in mind that we only collect $54 billion a year in GST. So the exclusions are very large relative to what's included. Of all the exclusions, this seems the most arbitrary. Health products like sunscreen and condoms are tax free. But tampons and sanitary pads are taxed. Mr Hockey. Do you think that sanitary products are an essential health good for half the population? Um, <laughs> so should the GST be taken well, off? Well, it, it probably should, yes. The answer is yes. I mean, of course, if you look at tampons in isolation, just as you look at something else in isolation, you can mount an argument to take the tax off. But we've had that argument. And if you start doing that, you will have no GST in the end, and the whole system will begin to unravel. So here's an idea, instead of unravelling the system, let's expand it. The GST applies to just 60% of our consumption base. Our coverage ratio is the 7th lowest out of 32 OECD countries. Broadening that base could raise almost $20 billion a year. If you were particularly trying to look after low income households, uh, you would increase their welfare payments and that could easily leave them in the same position in effect that they're in today. On the other hand, the real concern that many welfare groups have is that those welfare benefits will be eroded over time. It used to be unthinkable, but is it time we put the GST on the table?